In this tutorial for disk dyeing, I'm going to show you how to turn line images into PNG files with transparent backgrounds. And why that's important is, let's say you're uploading an image into your Cricut design space, and we'll upload one here. You find where the file is located, and we'll just use this black and white image. You'll upload it here. Usually you pick complex if you want it more detailed. I like to zoom in to look at the work and then you have to start just picking every little white space that you see and doing a lot of cleanup and using the erase tool to get rid of a few things, but there's all of these little white dots here and if I want to keep all of those details then I really have to zoom in and then I've got to click every single little space and sometimes even adjust the color tolerance and after spending who knows how long it, it still might be kind of grainy. And so we're just not going to use Cricut Design Space to edit the image at all. So we'll cancel out of here and what I'm going to suggest to you instead if you have any experience with Photoshop, a good Photoshop alternative is a web-based program called photop.com. I have dabbled a little bit with Photoshop, but I, I can't justify the monthly subscription for it when all I use are the basic functions, and I found that Photop does an excellent job of that for me. So that's what we'll be using today. Again, it's completely free. Uh, you can support Photop. Uh, I am not sponsored by them, but you can support them for $10 a month if you want to hide the ads that um, are off on the edge of the screen. So let's say you have an image. We'll open from the computer. You can also drag and drop right here. We'll go back to that great wave image that we were working on. And real quick, I'm just going to remove anything that might be a little fuzzy. You can see it's already making the background transparent here. And this is a pretty clear black and white image. And so what we're going to do, instead of using a wand tool, which some of you might use, and again, we'd have to click every little thing. Instead, I'm going to go to Select, and I'm going to click on Color Range. And what this will do is you then select a color range over here. You can select black or white. I'm going to select black. It'll be a few extra steps, but I'll show you why that's important here in just a moment. I'm going to select black. You can also adjust the tolerance if you want. If you want the lines to be a little bolder, or if you're working with an image with multiple colors, you might have to drag that down a little bit so you don't grab any purples or dark blues or any other colors like that. But since this is a pretty clear black and white image, we'll just select black, drag that fuzziness all the way to the top, and now we have all of the black spots selected. But I want to remove the white. And I did say this was a few extra steps. We could have selected the white and then removed that. But if you're working with multiple colors, I find that selecting black works best. Now to select everything that you don't have selected, you go to Select, Inverse, you can also use some shortcut keys if you're familiar with those. And now it's selected everything except for black. And now from here, we can cut the image. And it cut all of the white space out. So now we're left with a black image and every white space there. And if you zoom in, you can see that there's a little transparent checkerboard pattern behind even all of these little dots. From here we will export here, we'll export it as a PNG and that will keep the transparent background. I'm going to save this as Great Wave Transparent, keeping the quality all the way up. And it's saved here. Now we go back into Cricut Design Space. Now we upload an image, just like we normally would. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here, upload image, and I'm going to go back to my web browser and I can just drag and drop it. And there it is. I'm not even going to click complex. I'm going to click on simple and it will retain all of the details. And I'm just going to zoom in to show you real quick. We will preview the cut image and it has preserved all of these little dots and lines. Now your vinyl cutter might not be able to keep all of these details depending on how small you make this, but they're here in the digital format. So we'll apply that. It looks good to me. Great wave transparent. Make sure that it is a cut image. You could add some keywords in here so that if you want to be able to search this easily, you can use some keywords there. You upload it, and there it is. And we can add that to the canvas, make it the size that we want for the disk. And if you look at some of my other tutorials, you can see how to center that on the disk. Before we go, I want to show you the same process. If, if this is satisfactory for you, feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe if you want. I plan on doing more videos. But if you want to see how to do it on a color image, we're going to do that right now. So we go back to Photopea, and we're going to open an image. I'm going to show this stupid fish here. And this has multiple colors. And again, if we tried to select all of the little spaces to remove. There's a lot to select here. So we're going to go back to select color range. And remember, as before, if we did green, then we'd also have to do brown, and then we'd have to do orange on, multi on these multiple colors. But if you click on the black space, it selected all of the black. So now we have all of the black selected. Doesn't matter what other colors are there, they weren't too close to that. If they were darker, I may have had to move that fuzziness meter down a little bit. But then we want to select inverse, then edit, cut. Everything except for the black lines will be cut out of the image. There we have it, even that little dot there on the eye. Now there might be a little bit of fuzziness here. You can see some of the brown. That shouldn't show up within the Cricut design space, but we'll, we'll see here real quick. So we'll export it as a PNG, just like before. We'll save that there. Go back into Cricut design space, upload an image. Again, I just really like to drag and drop instead of finding where those files are. Oh, jump the gun a little bit there. Drag and drop right there. Simple, continue, preview cut image, and look at that. Even though it shows a little bit of a haziness, if you preview the cut image, it removes that there. You don't have to worry about these tools here. It's ready to go as soon as you upload it in there. on cut image, add it to our canvas, and you can resize it again as you need, keeping all of the details there. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments below. As I see people having questions online and as I discover new things, I hope to upload more video tutorials to share what I've learned along the way. Thanks for watching.